Have you ever clicked on a website and it felt like it took forever to load? In this video, we are going to talk about Time to First Byte or TTFB. Time to First Byte is the time from clicking on a link to seeing the site start to load. A slow Time to First Byte can really slow down your website and even hurt your Google rankings. That's why it's so important to reduce it so that you can improve your website's performance. Let's jump right into it. First, we are going to see how we can see our TTFB on our own website. In order to see See your time to first bite, you can go onto gtmetrics.com or Google's page speed insights and enter in your website. After entering your website, you should be able to view your TTFB. Another very easy way to do it is to go onto your website and right click on your website, click on inspect, and you should see something like this on the right hand of your website. Scroll up and click on network. Now, once you click on network, you're going to refresh the page, scroll up until you see your website website name. So to your right, you will see waterfall, scroll down and scroll to the bar. Once you do that, under request and response, you will see waiting for server response. This is your time to first byte. As you can see, our website is 86.10 milliseconds. A good time to first byte speed is under 200 milliseconds, but within the ranges of 300 milliseconds and 500 milliseconds, it's considered reasonable. Now that we know how to find our website's TTFB, let's move on to see how we can reduce it to improve our website's performance. The first thing you can do to reduce your website's TTFB is to make sure that your WordPress plugins and themes are up to date. To do this, go on to your hosting service provider. Right now, I am on my WordPress website and to the side, I would click on dashboard. Now, click on updates. Once you're on your WordPress dashboard, scroll down and make sure that you are on the current version. If you are not on the latest version of WordPress, make sure to update this. You can also scroll down and make sure that your plugins and your themes are updated. If they are not, you can go ahead and update your plugins and themes. The next thing you can do to reduce your TTFB is to update your PHP. I am using Hostinger for my hosting, so this may look a little different for you. For Hostinger, you will go to your website and click on manage. And once you're there, scroll down to advance and you see PHP configuration. Once you're there, make sure that the version is updated to the latest version. The reason why we want to update the PHP version is is because WordPress is built on PHP. Ensuring that you have the latest PHP version will allow you to speed up your website. The next thing you can do is use caching. Caching saves a copy of your website so that the next time you load your website, it loads quicker. In order to do this, you can go into plugins, click on add new plugin and type in cache. A very popular cache plugin is Lightspeed Cache. It has an average rating of five stars and is an all-in-one site acceleration plugin that features an exclusive server level cache and a collection of optimization features for your website. You can also scroll down and look at more cache plugins that you can use for your website. The next thing you can do is add a content delivery network. A content delivery network or CDN is a network of servers that delivers cache static content from websites based on the geographic location of the user. By doing this, it reduces the wait time for requests to get to the server. Here are some popular CDNs that you can use for your WordPress website. You can also find CDN plugins that that you can use for your website. Another thing that you can do to reduce your time to first byte is to optimize your WordPress database. You can go onto your hosting provider's cPanel or Pro Panel if you're using Hostinger. Scroll down, go to database. Once you're in database, you can enter your PHP My Admin, and this is where you can optimize your database. It is very important that you know what you're doing when you are optimizing your database, as this database holds all of your data for your website. The last thing that you can do to reduce your time to first byte is to ensure that you are using a fast hosting provider. Here are six fastest web hosting providers that you can use to make sure that your website is quick and that your time to first byte is reduced. As you can see, the top one is Hostinger, which we are using. Hostinger is a top hosting service that can really speed up your website. If you want to set up your own website, we have linked down below our free website setup service that you can also use. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel and comment down below any topics that you would also like us to cover. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.